Now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, a lot of clouds with just a couple little spotty showers and sprinkles down here in Tipton County, moving towards Howard County. A few other little sprinkles down here in Putnam County, headed for Boone County. That is it. What we are watching is Illinois with a core of strong winds about a mile off the ground streaming out of the Gulf of Mexico called a low level jet that gets more active at night. It is on the nose of that jet that core stronger wind that will transport moisture our way and I right on the nose of it. I do expect scattered showers and some thunderstorms to form to our west and those will increase and impact us during the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning and what will be an active week with several periods of showers and thunderstorms with the front stalled over the area and it will wobble back and forth, bringing cooler than warmer weather and vice versa. And an isolated severe threat will be with, with us, uh, mainly in our southern counties uh, late tonight uh, through uh, tomorrow morning and then perhaps even into Wednesday. And then everybody gets in on a severe weather potential on Thursday. But mild tonight with 57 at 7 a.m. But a high tomorrow of 72 degrees and only down to 68 by 7 p.m. You can see the front kind of hung up in our north tomorrow, mid 60s Winnemac, low 70s Lafayette, but mid 70s Crawfordsville and Kingman, and about 70 degrees at Otterburn. And then Wednesday, big temperature uh, contrast from mid 50s Winnemac, mid 60s Lafayette, mid 70s at Crawfordsville with the front kind of stalled right over the area and even between Lafayette and Monticello, the temp's going to drop about 10 degrees uh, or at least the south side of Lafayette from 70, 71 to about 62 or 3 up at Monticello. Precision future cast. Uh, again, we're in fine shape for this evening. Nothing more than a sprinkle or isolated shower, but scattered showers and a few storms will increase overnight. These will be with us into tomorrow morning and uh, then a bit of a lull tomorrow afternoon with a little sun and then more showers and thunderstorms. Uh, come in with time towards later tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Some lulling tomorrow night and then yet another round once we get into Wednesday morning, then a break and a few more once we get into early Thursday morning. Check it out. There's the clock stamp here at 2 a.m. Then another break and then we could see a squall line rake the area uh, later Thursday, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. So all that said, later tonight, tomorrow morning, down here, Southern Warren, Fountain, Montgomery County, there could be an isolated, a large hailer. And that could continue into perhaps as late as 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, at least the threat anyway. And then tomorrow afternoon, evening and Wednesday, it's going to be Fountain and Montgomery County, an isolated severe storm or two cannot be ruled out. Then we go to Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. This is when a squall line may rake the area with a uh, severe threat for the entire viewing area. Main threat would be wind, and we're going to get a lot of rain from now through Friday easily. Uh, about a one to three inch rain viewing area wide. A couple of uh, locations could get over three inches of rain. 75 on Thursday, 66 Friday, a little cooler Saturday at 60, 66 Sunday. And then we're back to kind of a wet weather pattern again next week and stormy with highs in the 70s. All right. Thanks, Chad. Chad. Just ahead, a review of an article published in Rolling Stone exposes.